ask Tom on home show. CG from Sienna Plantation has a question about some buckling floors. Yeah, Tom, he's he's thinking it's something about his pier and beam and the and moisture and all that. That's his his challenge. He writes to us, CG writes, I'm leveling dips under my home that hold water, installed gutters, and I'm grading the water so it will drain down away from the house. There's a large tree with roots higher than the ground in front, which I think is my biggest problem. Someone suggested a vapor barrier covered with sand under the house, but I think it would cause moisture problems. I'm ready to put in a subfloor, but I don't want to do that in the foundation issue or the floor issues again. Or so I don't get these issues again. Tom, he wants to know, what would you recommend he install to fix this problem? Well, he's on the right path. You got to get the water out from under the house. You can't have it sit there. You can't have it puddle there. If the tree is an issue, uh, and, it, it, and they will, they'll rise up out of the ground like crazy. I have a live oak that's done it over the years at my house. It's probably four or five feet higher out of the ground than when it first was planted. Uh, so they can become a problem. And in my case, I had to put a gutter in to solve that problem to drain the water off the roof around the tree as opposed to trying to go from the front to the back. So it can happen. And your extreme or, or your worst case scenario is a better way to put it, is you cut the tree down, grind all the roots into the ground and level it back off the way it was originally. And then maybe plant another tree a little bit away from the house, a little bit farther and let it grow again. And that I would sacrifice a tree over my house any day of the week. Now, with the comments you gave me, I would not put plastic down. That doesn't work here in this part of the country. So Sienna Plantation, I know well. I've built homes there for people. You don't want to do that. Uh, bank sand under a home is definitely what you want to do. And I did a lot of crawl space homes, pier and beam homes, as people call them. And we always put bank sand underneath the house to make it nice and clean and neat. When we were all done, we'd blow it in there and rake it out and it would stay nice and dry. It's a great uh, way to move water is through sand. So if you do have low spots, you need to build it up a little bit so the water runs away from the house. Bank sand is the most inexpensive thing you can use and it's very clean and it works and it stays where you put it. But the, the bottom line is you got to move the water away. Forget the plastic. The water's not coming from a spring underneath the house and springing up. It's all in the air. It's from the rain. It's all surface water. Put all the plastic there you want. It's not going to do you any good. The sand will help drain it away. And the tree might have to go. I think that's probably check, mm. check box. box. Check the box one and then check the box number two. Right. Yeah. It, 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 and the... The, the tree, it, 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 it's not a matter that they could put like a root barrier or something, right? Because it's not really a problem of the roots. It's, it's on the no. surface that's causing the problem. Well, it is the roots, but it's the anchor roots and it's the right. trunk. The trunk will grow. And then those big old gigantic roots come out and they're like tree trunks in the ground. And they keep getting bigger around. And then people keep mulching and stuff on top of it. And it slowly just raises this mountain in front of your house. And when they do take the tree out, they'll come in with these huge stump grinders or these big, powerful stump grinders, and they'll grind all those anchor roots and everything down to sawdust, probably a foot, two, or even three feet into the ground, rake it all out. It doesn't grow stuff very well for a while because it's fresh, live sawdust, so it has to deteriorate and mulch down for a while. And you can talk to Danny on the, on the garden show for that one. But you can replant a tree a little bit farther away, and then that way you won't have to deal with the drainage issue. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, you got a question, Tom can help you out just like that. Just go ahead over here and visit homeshowradio.com over there and click on that blue Ask Tom button. It'll take you to this page where you can send us a video or a question or, uh, or, or write your question in and send pictures if you like, and we'll answer it. Tom will answer it just like this. We'll post the video on our home on our website at homeshowradio.com. We'll put it on our uh, YouTube channel, and we'll put it on Facebook. If you're not following us on Facebook, you really ought to. We're the largest home and garden uh, Facebook page in Texas.